Hey guys, it's Andy here. Today, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be showing you guys how to build your very own moth trap on a low budget. That's why I have all this stuff in front of me. Did you know that there's over 1,300 common species of moths in Scotland? And you can catch many of these amazing insects using a moth trap, like the one I'm about to build. Moth trapping is a great thing to do as it opens up a hidden world full of moths of different shapes, colours and sizes. You may be thinking, why do I need to do this? Could I not just buy myself a moth trap? Well you could, but moth traps tend to be quite expensive. And by following my easy steps, you could have your own moth trap and save your money. You see, moths are very sensitive to climate change. And monitoring them is a great way for us to learn about the specific health of an area and to show us how it's changing over time. Moths are also a great food source for many animals, including my favourite, the ants, and many common birds. Did you know that blue tits rely upon moth caterpillars to feed their young? So without these moths, we wouldn't have the birds that we've learnt to love. Today, I'll be getting my instructions off of the Butterfly Conservation website. So I'll leave a link in the description for you guys. So if you forget what you're building, you can either watch my video again or head over to their website. On the website, there are sets for two instructions. Today, I'll be building the compact fluorescent bucket moth trap, which is the simplest and lowest cost one to build. I'm going to start with the lower bucket section and then eventually move on to the upper light section. So what you need for the bucket section as well, a bucket. I've chosen a 20 liter plastic bucket with a tight fitting lid. You could also use a cardboard box to keep the cost down. Although please keep in mind that if it's windy and wet, the plastic box is gonna last a lot longer than the cardboard box will. So it's pretty, easy what the other stuff you need to get you need a funnel like this one so just kitchen funnel you need some egg boxes a marker pen and a sharp knife although please do be careful and have adult supervision when using sharp knives so let's get building first thing you need to do is you need to get your funnel and your marker pen you're going to draw a line around the widest part of your funnel like that so it creates a full circle you're then going to get your knife and cut slightly smaller than the actual circle. So when you put your funnel back in the right way around, it doesn't fall all the way through. You then want to get your funnel back and cut far enough down so the moths have room to fall in. I'm now going to start getting making. So as you can see here, I've chopped my hole in and the funnel pretty much perfectly fits in. Now I just need to chop the bottom of the funnel off. Now we've got our funnel and our lid cut. The next thing you want to do is get a bunch of egg boxes, the more the merrier, and just start randomly placing them within your moth trap. Moths use these egg boxes as a place to hide once they've been caught. Also, it's a great way to safely handle them in the morning. You moths don't sing or bite, so it's a great way to introduce someone to the world of nature. I'm now going to head on to my upper light section. Now for the moth attractor, also known as a light. For this, you'll need a reptile light like this one, which not only gives off a visible light, but also a UV light, which the moths are attracted to. You'll need something to stick your light in, something to attach your light to a pole or a stick, like this one, which will then attach to the top of your bucket. You'll need cable ties, last but not least, a large plastic bottle, which we will use as a rain guard. First of all, I'm going to get my light holder and attach it onto my pole. But before you guys do this, to make sure your light works, plug it in to your light holder and plug that into the wall. But as soon as you've done that, take the light back out just so you don't harm it. So now that you've got this attached nice and secure, you then want to get your screwdriver and punch two holes quite close together on the lid of your bucket and thread some cable ties through it, like I've already done here. You want to get your bar or pipe and you want to stick it on so the ends are just past the cable ties. And pretty much all you need to do from there 
stick cable tie through and just tighten. Make sure it's nice and straight and then one last pull and there you go. This does mean that you can cut them off at any times if you do need to remove this. We're now going to attach the light to the light holder. Once you've done this you then want to get your large plastic bottle and cut it so the bottle is just larger than the actual bulb itself and this will be a great way to shield it from the rain. And that's it! Nats has now made her very own moth trap for only £40. That's a pretty low budget. As you can see here, we've made a rain guard. You don't have to, but it's especially useful if there is bad conditions out to, just to protect the light. If you want, you can also attach a battery to it. We've made ours a mains powered one. But obviously, if you are doing mains power, be careful using electricity outside, especially if it's raining. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be sure to come back to my YouTube channel when all the moths are flying about so we can see what we catch in our own moth trap. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!